Time is a monster, is the last thing said by some famous somebody who lived in the world before. But there's no one alive who remembers their name. And as weeks turned into months and months did what they've always done, the ones who missed the deadline for the filter continued to flail and flounder in what was left of the world. Some thrived. Some languished. And many, so many, left this world the same way they came into it, writhing, screaming, covered head to toe in blood. People like Marion, who stood beneath a live power line for too long. Or Bert, who huffed the wrong kind of gas. Clarice, who played a song no one wanted to hear. Rudy, who did not receive a fair trial. Shue, who realized too late why they could never really relate to their co-workers. Fingers, who everyone called Fingers because he stole things, and who died living up to his name. The Kemp family, who tried in vain to reach New Zealand. That guy sitting on the edge of the pit who overdosed on Zizilax. Brian, who misremembered the mnemonic for coral snakes. Caroline, who got too close. And then there were the lucky ones like Avi. But not even the luckiest person alive could figure out how to get through the filter where the love of Avi's life was waiting for him. She's probably still standing at the entryway or whatever, hoping he'd just gotten delayed. But there was no way for him to contact her, to let her know he was still in the physical world, trying like hell to figure out how to make it through the filter. Everyone who knew how to do that shit was already in the place where he needed to be. If he could just hear her Vin Diesel impression, which she only did when she was wasted. If he could just go on one more road trip with her, spending $50 on the truck stop skill crane to win her a $5 plush frog. To wake up from a nightmare and find her sleeping next to him, her hand on his chest. He'd definitely leave out the part where he was so excited to join her in eternity that he forgot to set the timer on his artificial sunrise lamp the night before the filter and slip right through it, like a total butthole. When he finally woke up, all that was left of her was a series of texts on his phone ending with, Guess I'll see you there. Be true, beat root. Beat emoji. Heart emoji. And who was he kidding anyway? She wasn't thinking of him. She was probably in the middle of some ultra-neon foam party right at that moment, getting gawked at by a hundred muscle-bound angels with brass anaconda dicks. Maybe he wasn't so lucky after all. <laughs>